Neil Fenn has rebuilt the squad at Turner's Cross. Will it be good enough to get Cork City back among the title challengers? They faced a Shelburne side returning to the top flight after an absence of six years. Neil Fenn handed debuts to eight of his new Cork signings against a Shells team that included ex-Cork stars Carl Shepherd and Kieran Kilduff. The Dublin team showed no signs of those years in the doldrums. Dale Rooney just couldn't get this early chance on target. The home side took a while to settle into it, but Keane Coleman showed the way with positive build-up and a brave run to get on the end of Kyron Stabana's cross. The Cork-born midfielder couldn't keep his effort down, and Fenn looked a little more satisfied on the sideline. The best chance of the half went to the away side. The unmarked Rooney sent over the perfect outswinger onto the head of the incoming Ryan Brennan, who saw his header powered back off the post, and Gary Deegan couldn't aim the inviting rebound goalward. Cork kept looking for a direct way through, and when Joseph Oluwu deftly chipped the ball into space for Ray and Dillon, the tightest angle denied the Englishman a shot on target, and the game was scoreless at the break. From the start of the second half, the Lee Siders slowed up their build-up play and took more control of the midfield. Passing and movement created enough space for QPR Loney Dishan Darling to try and beat Aidan Friel to the byline, but a slight shoulder nudge wasn't deemed enough by ref Adriano Rail to award a spot kick, and the home fans were not impressed. Contact surely and not shoulder to shoulder, but wasn't enough to warrant a penno. Neil Fenn thought so. Shortly afterwards, Darrow O'Connor's free was initially and solidly defended by Kill Duff, but the ball came back straight out to O'Connor, and this time his delivery was better, but Arsenal defender Joseph Alou nodded wide. It was enough to energise the home support, though. The visitors were also full of belief, and when Jay's Cabia proed purposefully down the right wing, Ronan Hurley had to stay with him, and it was his persistence that denied the cross. Nervous moments for the Turner's Cross faithful, and they were right. Shells last played in Cork back in 2013 when Cork won 5-3 and their then frontman killed off bagged four of City's goals. So an ex-City man Carl Shepherd took the result in corner. Luke Byrne saw his effort come back off the crossbar before Sean Quinn got a touch and poetically, of course, it was Kilduff who landed the killer blow. Neil Fenn knows his Cork side will improve when the new signings settle in a bit better, but a perfect start for Ian Morris, making his managerial bow in the top division and earning Shells their first top flight win at Turner's Cross since August 2004. Cork City nil, Shelburne won. Obviously, the result was disappointing. You know, you, you, you don't want to lose your first game of the season, especially at home, and especially in the manner. You know, with a late with a late goal, um, and and pretty disappointed with with the performance as well. I thought we were, were quite flat at times and lacked a little bit of quality. But I felt the whole game lacked a little bit of quality. I felt that it looked like it was nil nil written all over it. Yeah, fantastic night. Um, I think in possession we weren't as uh, as good as I'd like us to be. Um, out of possession we were fantastic. But saying that, I think we created um, the, the clear-cut chances. Um, I don't think our keeper had a save to make all night. So all in all, a good night's work.